الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وسلات وسلام علی خاتم الانبیاء ان دی منتھ آف فیسٹنگ ان دی لاسٹ ٹین ڈیز دیر آر آڈ نائٹس اینڈ امنگ دیز آڈ نائٹس ون از نائٹ آف پاور وی نو دیٹ ویری ویل بٹ وی کائٹ آفٹن فار گیٹ دیٹ دی نائٹ آف پاور از پر ہیپس اور موسٹ پرابیبلی on 27th night which we find in several ahadiths even when we, we may not be sure about it this 27th night of ramadan carries for us double importance not only a night in which most probably the quran was revealed but the night in which a country a nation a people were born It was 27th of Ramadan when Pakistan was created. Pakistan was born. Pakistan came into existence. And that makes this night also greatly relevant, important for us. When the Quran was revealed, a global revolution took place. A new system was introduced. And when Pakistan was created, on the map of world a nation came into existence based on an ideology a commitment a future which was visualized by its founders unfortunately history is an area where quite often we mix facts with fables and stories and sometimes historians paint an image the way they want in the last 70 years or so we have lost the image understanding of how the founders thought about it on this night when pakistan was created the founders knew very well what have they achieved and what's their objective i thought just to look into records and find out What was the vision of the founder of the country, Qayyad Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah? And I was surprised to find out that in several of his statements, maybe over two dozen statements, many of those after August 11 and many of those much before 1947, one thing which he said continuously was that Pakistan is an ideological state. And that ideology was defined by him and by Allama Iqbal in very clear terms. In the Allahabad address, Allama Iqbal very clearly said that we are a unique nation. Therefore, we want a country. A country where that ideology of Islam may be fully implemented. And the same was said by the founder, not once, but on several occasions. I thought I should share on this uh, noble night what the founder had the vision. The founder on uh, October 11, 1947 said, the segment of Pakistan for which we have been striving for the last 10 years is by the grace of God an established fact today. But the creation of our state of our own was means to an end, not the end itself. The idea was that we should have a state in which we could live and breathe as free men and in which we could develop according to our own lights and culture and where principles of Islamic social justice could find free play. This is October 11, 1947. Again, we find that uh, addressing the Ek Ek Regiment in Malir, February 21, 1948, the Qaid said, You have fought many a battle on the far-flung fields of the globe to get rid of the world of the fascist menace and make it safe for democracy. Now, you have to stand guard over the developments and maintenance of Islamic democracy, Islamic social justice, and the equality of mankind in your own native soil. Again, we find that addressing people of the United States of America on Uh, February 48, the Qaid says, this dominion 
which represents the fulfillment in a certain measure of the cherished goal of 100 million Muslims of the subcontinent came into existence on August 15, 1947. Pakistan is the premier Islamic state and fifth largest in the world. Addressing the youth in Lahore Stadium, uh, he says, do not be overwhelmed by the enormity of the task. There is many an example in, our his, in, in history of young nation building themselves up by sheer determination and force of character. You are made of sterling material and a second to none. Why should you also not succeed like many others, like your own forefathers? You have only developed the spirit of the Mujahids. You are a nation whose history is replete with people of wonderful gifts, characters and heroism. Live up to your traditions and add to it in a chapter of glory. All I require of you now is that every one of us to whom this message reaches must vow to himself and be prepared to sacrifice his all if necessary in building up Pakistan as a bulwark of Islam and as one of the greatest nations whose ideal in peace within and peace without. These very clear wordings of the Qaid are not uh, referred to in our books of history which are taught in our schools. To the extent that addressing the Bar Council in Karachi, he said that uh, no doubt there are many people who do, do not quite appreciate when you talk of Islam. Islam is not only a set of rituals, traditions and spiritual doctrines. Islam is also a code for every Muslim which regulates his life and his conduct even in politics and economics and the like. It is based on highest principles of honor, integrity, fair play and justice for all. He further said that he could not understand a section of people who deliberately wanted to create mischief and made propaganda that constitution of Pakistan would not be made on the basis of Shariat. The Qaid said, Islamic principles today are as applicable to the life as they were 300 years ago. These outspoken statements of the founder tell us that his vision was very clear. He did not want just a piece of land, but because of difference of culture, difference of history, difference of heroes, difference of vision of life, difference of objectives. He demanded a separate homeland where Islamic ideals and principles could be fully materialized. The bad fate was he could not live long to translate his dream into reality. And unfortunately, a segment a very small number of people who think the intellectuals always tried to cover up these statements and always remembered only a few words which, are, which he never said, words which are put in his mouth that Pakistan can be a secular state. He never used this word all his life. He always said that this country has been created for Islamic ideology. Nothing wrong in that. This is perhaps the second country in the world where an ideology makes its existence. A country which we have always objected came into existence based on Zionism and we came into existence based on Islam. And this was done on the 27th night of Ramadan when we acquired our independence. This night reminds us that we refresh, we revive our commitment to the Qaid, we translate his dream, we put his words into practice and we make a resolution that uh, this country should be a leader in all those areas which are needed for uplift of Muslim Ummah. If we are a nuclear power, if we are exporter of fruit and milk, if we are having a youth population which is over 67%, we have all possible resources and energies to prove leadership of nations, leadership of Ummah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who thank their founders for clarity of vision, 
who follow their footsteps and directions and who materialize their dreams in reality and go ahead with success and development of Pakistan in, in, in every area of life.